Welcome back, everyone, to the MSA Sports Center stage. I'm Greg Coins here on the MSA Sports Network, and I'm here with a former Progress Athlete of the Month, Emma Hasco, yes. uh, who's uh, built quite a career here at Upper St. Clair. First round victory for the uh, Upper St. Clair Panthers over the Kiski Area Cavaliers, two to one, in a very rainy, rain-soaked, uh, little by little. Did that? Uh, did the rain affect uh, the play at all out there for any of you guys, or no? No, I don't think so. I think we. Uh surprisingly really managed the game considering the wet conditions. I was very pleased with how we played with these uh, not so great conditions. Um, earlier, uh, early, near the end of the first half, I saw you uh, getting your uh, your right arm uh, taped up. Yes. What, exact, what exactly happened out there? Well, I took a, a mean spill over there. I was defending a girl and kind of tripped and just my elbow started gushing blood. Mm. And you know, I always have to keep it away because they're all strict with the jersey rules. So, Kind of ran out here, tried to get it wrapped up, but it wouldn't stop. So unfortunately, it took me out of the game. But nothing too bad. Talk about the goal you scored. Mandy Rock set you up very, very well. Absolutely, yeah. We um, kind of emphasized all year taking the opportunity when we have it. So Maddie gave me the perfect ball. I had time to take a touch with my left foot, which isn't my dominant foot, but we kind of, kind of been really working on using both feet and being able to finish with both. So I just shot a lot of uh, low to the corner, and it went in. It was a beautiful, beautiful play by Maddie and. We really, really work well together, and those in the final third combinations have really been going our way. For the benefit of our audience, we'll talk a little bit later about your uh, your uh, post uh, soccer plans uh, and your post Upper St. Clair pl uh, plans. But you've developed quite a rapport with Manny Rocks. Talk about the way you guys communicate out in that field. Yeah, I mean, I've been fortunate fortunate enough to be playing with her for like ten years now. We, she's been the person I've been playing with for since youth soccer. So it's pretty special that us that we can, you know, kind of carry this out onto the high school field. And we've been playing cup for the past two years on the same team. And our connections, I know where she's thinking. It's like we're on the same thinking patterns. Like any any run she makes, I, I kind of, I see where she's going and I know her style so well. And it, it, it I think it really shows out here, you know, her, she knows where I'm going to play her. I know where she wants to, she wants the ball. And, you know, it just, she, we just make it easy for each other. You've experienced a great deal of success here with this Upper St. Clair program. Talk about the future of this program, too, after you and Maddie go. There's a lot of, still a lot of great talent even even after you guys go. Absolutely. I mean, the it's been huge with uh, the freshman class. You know, coming into this year, we weren't exactly sure how it was going to go just because no matter your skill coming in freshman year, it's high school soccer and it's 18-year-olds going up against 15-year-olds. You know, that's always tough. But um, I, it's been, I'm so pleased with how the freshmen are doing, and they're going to make the greatest impact in the like, next couple years. You know, we have Mia Snyder, a center back who plays like she's 18 years old. You know, she just gets after it, and Riley Ford, and little Landy Mertz over here who plays like she's six feet tall. You know, with those players, I know I'm, I'm so comfortable leaving this team because I know in the next years they're going to do just as well. Now you've committed to Penn State. Uh, talk about uh, talk about what you're going to do up there. If you're going to play, you're going to play soccer with the uh, Nittany Lions, and uh, talk about what uh, your future plans are as far as your career is concerned. Yeah, I've been fortunate fortunate enough to commit to uh, one of the best soccer programs in the nation right now. So I'm absolutely thrilled. And um, yeah, I'm headed up there next fall and going to play with the uh, some of the best players. And it's been great because I've been able to visit, you know, the past. I committed going into junior year, so I've had so much time to get comfortable with the coaches already and get up there and just see the program, see their day-by-day -day routine. And it's exciting. Yeah, I'm planning on going, making an impact. You know, I want to play as anyone does, so I'm going to work my hardest, get myself into, you know, the, the D1 body. You know, I got I have some work to do for sure, but I'm very excited. And, you know, it's I, I just got to finish it out here. You know, I got to kind of like, embrace my time that I still have here, but I'm, I'm very excited for Penn State, yeah. Continued success to you and the rest of the playoffs and the rest of the Panthers. Congratulations. Good luck the rest of the playoffs. Thank you so playoffs. much. Thank you. That is Emma Hasco of the Upper St. Clair Panthers here on the MSA Sports Center stage. I'm Greg Coyne. Stay tuned for more here on the MSA Sports Center stage.